Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition where I'm just gonna keep playing and really hoping you guys can't hear any echoing going on in the microphone. Yeah, let's go. This is gonna suck. This is actually gonna suck so much. Why am I playing on insanity? This was a dumb decision. Oh my gosh. You're already here. I didn't realize they were throwing indoctrinated at us this fast. Oh jeez. What's back by? Oh no. Jeez, oh my gosh, there's another one. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. I'm being punched. I'm being punched. <laughs> I don't want to die out like this. Man, it just has a giant weapon. I can't hit it. It has a giant weapon. And it just runs at you and punches you. Okay, by the way, I have decided earlier today that um, I'm going to play Mass Effect 2 with a, with the mouse and keyboard. Because that's how I usually play on free game, what do you call it? PC. And this controller just ain't cutting it. We'll see how long I do that because when I first played Mass Effect, it was on an Xbox 360, so I am like my first time, first two times playing was on um, controller. Um, oh, please, no, please. Oh. We need Caden back. Um. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we're standing right next to explosive. Oh my gosh. Take away his ability to shooty make shooty us. I can't believe we were standing right next to an explosive canister and we didn't just immediately get eviscerated. The guy's aim was really good. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna try to use a mouse and keyboard. The problem also is, like, I don't have a picture to show you, but the way I imagine a hotel room, right? And you know what, you know, the things, the little things that TVs are on, like the little, I don't know, not side tables, but uh, coffee table type thing, armoires, dressers. It's on a small dresser. Um, and, you know, hello. Is someone out there? Hello, hello. How do I get down to you? I think I can get down to you this way. Um, anyway, it's on one of those. This TV. And so, my, you know, necessarily, my stuff is on there, like my desktop. We don't want them to bunker up. Draw them out. So my desktop, my desktop's up there, my keyboard, my mouse. And you can imagine there's no space for my legs under there. I'm on a chair that's like in front of it. But I can't like put my legs under it like I would a desk. So I'm just sitting here with my controller. And Ooh. And that's fine, it's fine for a controller, but it is not fine for trying to play. Okay, come on. I'm trying to there you go. Did that all pissed. Oh 
Oh, a free. No, 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 no. Powering up. What is going on here? Where are the guards? Where is Sarah? No. Stay back. Ooh. This is important work. This is the glorious salvation of my species. Oh my gosh, my weapon. Destroy the work we have started. Not you. But as long as the other husk, oh no, is hitting Rex, then that. Why did that not work? Oh my gosh! I shouldn't have brought King. Probably. Oh no, okay. What is it? Oh my gosh. She looks definitely down. Let's put those. Oh, can't. Can't put those up yet. Alright, well, let's bring Kate back. Medigel deployed. Anyway, I have played the other games, the other games, well, at Mass Effect 2 with a mouse and keyboard. And I should be able to do it again. It's just where I'm so used to being, like, being able to do this and pull up an abilities wheel, whereas in the other, in the, if you play it on the mouse and keyboard, that's not what you do. You just have the abilities, like, at the bottom, like World of Warcraft style. More Phoenix armor! Also, that guy's like, mm, this is the salvation of my species. I'm like, why do you have husks here? Hmm? How are they part of this? Pretty sure this is how we get back to the Solarian commandos. Can I just... Yeah, I can. <laughs> Dang it, I knew it. It was from Caden's angle, not mine, so the pressure went in a different direction. Don't shoot! Wait. Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Uh... I'm not gonna hurt you. Who are you? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. What are you talking about? I thought this was a breeding facility. <laughs> Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assume. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you don't even know why? <laughs> I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected, but I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers, to control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you can feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Yeah, except she was doing, like, terrible things, and also she's obviously heard the whisper. So it's like, 
a dumb thing to let her go, but we're a dumb, nice person and we're gonna let her go because we're a paragon. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Dun dun dun, she's given us all the hints. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. It's the one you There's used. some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom the subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you wanna make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Oh. <laughs> I love the way she runs out. Caden, <laughs> <Kate>, don't. <laughs> Don't call me out, man. She just give him a wink. Anyway. Have I... I thought the elevator took me down to those guys. There's like a whole other... Let me go look around. I'll be back. Oh, but I guess really quick I could mention. Uh, if you don't know, that woman does show up in the next game. And she is conducting experiments on people. Um... In the Krogan, like not the home world, but the um, the lab where we go pick up another crewmate. No, oh, yeah, no, it's the it's the abandoned like scrapper world. I think she's there. Anyway, she's not doing the experiments of her own free will, but she is. She did lie to us. Um, she is indoctrinated. Here we go. Here's at least one. What do you want? I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it up. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Maino Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG man. Captured while on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, man. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What did they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper? Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Commander. If we don't let him out, he's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yes, leaving me here would be bad. Very bad. It's too small and the noise just won't go away. Whispering is loud, you know? I need to get out. Let me out. I usually do... Well, not usually. I The first time, this is what I did, so I'll... Set him free. You can help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they're so simple? Simple. Yeah. Unfortunately, why am I? I have a shotgun. I feel like this. Look at that. Dude, look at that. The spread on my shotgun should be more than that. I can't. I'm trying to do predictive shots. Anyway. Um, he was giving us all the clues, right? You know, incessant whispering, etc., etc. He kind of lost his rocker. You can leave him in there, but it doesn't change anything, because also, like, I have to remember a lot of the time, at least, I don't know, for me personally, is that I'm blowing this place up. So if I leave him here, I'm killing him either way, you know? Oh, there it is.
Ooh, look at stuff. Ooh. Oh. Well, we can oop, we can look at for Caden. Rex and I are in Colossus armor, so we're good to go. We're Gucci. I can't believe... Oh, I think that's the door that goes outside. No, it's not. Is it? It might be the one that go that comes from the tunnels. That you can, like, enter sneakily or whatever. Okay, so we did that one. But there are more. Uh, they've they've just captured a whole bunch of freaking Salarians. Apparently, the 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 Salarian force was actually huge, and uh, was basically an army because they had so many people. Oh no! Here. Okay, here's how we get down to the one. So we just had that terrible experience with that one guy who's like, let me out, I just want some payback. The whispering. Blah, blah. But this one. Well, you're not a gaff. And you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat. And far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. Yeah, the survivor's guilt's gotta be real, you know what I mean? Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms, progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. It turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that, please. Let me out. You would think we wouldn't, I don't know. It doesn't hurt us to trust them if they're going to turn on us quickly. The problem with trusting that sorry woman is that she does um, go crazy. And, uh, like, because the, the indoctrination is a degenerative thing, right? So, like, she does eventually, like, continue the experiments on her own. And I think you can kill her. I know you can kill her in two. But you might be able to let her live, too, because she might show up in three. And like, kill like a whole busload of children or something. Like I think there's something like that, where like you let somebody go in one of these games and they kill like a lot of people. But um, there's also the Volus we met earlier. He is somebody who, if you help him, um, he will save like a bunch of people somehow. I can't remember in Mass Effect Three. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. I mean, I guess I could always try to, um... Like, I don't know why. We could just, like, help him. <laughs> we could let him out. Um, or, um... Like, tell him, hey, my ship's over here, but I guess I wouldn't... I don't know, he's probably not been in long enough, but he has been close enough to the indoctrination. Although he could be, a like, a variable, right? Like, to, to compare against. So maybe they, they maybe they did not mess with him or experiment on him just to, you know, have... What is it? Like, the, not the variable, like, the constant version, I guess? Ooh... 
I'm I my brain isn't working 100% right now. I know what my brain is trying to say. But I don't think I'm saying it right. What is the word? It's gonna bother me. The constant in any experiment, you know? That you can like compare the controlled controlled variable. That's what it is. I'm like, why is it start with a C in my head? Controlled. I think it's I think it's controlled variable. It might be controlled something else, but it's controlled something. So I think if you're just playing this for the first time. This is where you start to figure out that it's not Saren that's behind everything 100%. That he's not necessarily controlling that ship, but that the ship might actually be controlling him. In some way. And it's like, oh no, you know? Because, yeah, you spend the whole time, the most of the game, thinking that Saren is the one true baddie. But, like, really, look at the thing he's riding. <laughs> Maybe we... Commander, oh, look over here. It's another yeah. beacon. Like the one on Eden Prime. Oh, wow. You think I should touch it? Wow. I should definitely touch it. We have no idea. She's just pressing buttons. <coughs> to be fair, she does have part of the cipher. Look at that. Look at that mental willpower. She sees the end. Look at her eyes glowing in that, I love it. it. Matches the green, it's just so perfect. It might be more obvious if my eyes weren't green. If her eyes glow green, even if they're like blue or something. My brain hurts. We eliminate this base, and Saren's gonna feel it. I feel it. My brain hurty. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. Oh hey, hey. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. <laughs> you touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance. Of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. Yeah, good, good call, Caden. so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. Oh my, this voice is so creepy. It gives me actual goosebumps. Like, when you first get here, you're like, oh my gosh, and like, oh. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's yeah, it's alive. It's not just a ship. <laughs> a label created by the Protheans to give voice to, the to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Like, honestly, this whole thing that Sovereign says, like, the way he says it, or it says it, I guess, is so, like, oppressively overwhelming. Like... 
I don't know exactly how they do it with like the word choice or the cadence and definitely the tone but like every time it's like we can fight you it's just like you are nothing like we literally don't care you know like you are nothing but a bug to be squished and like just the way it like really effectively like conveys that is sort of terrifying and very disheartening <laughs> There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. No, they're not. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can find. I love how forthright Organic it's being. Civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. So that's where you figure out that everything that we've, well not everything, but a large portion of what we thought about the Protheans comes through the lens of like incomplete archaeological information, right? Like nowhere apparently in the archaeological record was anything indicating that the Protheans found this. We just assumed that everything we found is Prothean technology. Turns out it's actually way freaking older. <laughs> Why would you construct the mass relays then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the is mass this relays. Nefarious? Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we Nefarious! Desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. It's just... <laughs> what do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. I didn't answer the question. But that's the thing, right? Is they're not after resources or people or slaves, you know? Like, that's not what they're after at all. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. That's a straight up lie. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. I'll stop you. It feels so like like a freaking blade of grass in the wind you know like oh stab you and you just can't stop like anything you're not even alive not really you're just a machine machines can be broken that's mean shepherd your words are as empty as your future i am the vanguard of your destruction this exchange is over i am the vanguard of your destruction I love how it was just like really chatty Major with Commander. us, we got trouble. though, you know what I mean? Like it's just like, I'm gonna tell you everything, cause it's not like, the thing is, is, is it honestly thinks like we can't do anything about it, so why not, you know? Hit me Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This console is shot. Orders, Commander. Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. Dun dun dun! Oh jeez. Can we see it? No, I can't see it yet. Whoa. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call that here. After meeting Sovereign. It's pretty dope. Honestly, I think it would have been a cool name to call it Vanguard, but it's fine. Sovereign's good too. <laughs> um, But yeah, spooky stuff, honestly. And it just... This honestly blew my mind the first time I played. I was like, holy cow, like, like leaving little tidbits of technology so that, like, the races that find it evolve along, like, predetermined routes and, like, 
are easy enough for you to like you know track their progress and then like be destroyed you know like it's so nefarious and it's happened for millions of years <laughs> like it's gnarly but this is the part of the video where I say thank you to my patrons. So I want to say a big thank you to all of you, but especially to my tree, or no, sorry, sapling, to your patrons. Um, Scalamugger, thank you so much for your support. And Reese Galito, thank you also so much for your support. Both of you are awesome and I appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is the super coolest and the nicest and just the co bestest all around. <laughs> Let me just try to think of new adjectives on the fly, but thank you so much and thank you everyone for all your support I appreciate it and I hope to see you in the next one